Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Raluca. In this video I'm going to show you how I did this look right here which is perfect for Halloween especially if you're not into that whole gore, scary, bloody type of a look. Maybe if you're that girly type of a girl that doesn't like scary stuff. This look is a recreation of a look that I found on Pinterest. I'm going to insert the picture right here because I really don't know the artist. So if you do know the artist you can maybe write their Instagram username or something in the comments below so I can credit them. Before we jump into the tutorial I want to kindly ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm going to do a lot more Halloween looks this month. I hope you stay close. I upload every Monday and Friday. That being said, let's jump into the tutorial. For this look I'm going to start with my face and first I'm going to apply some foundation. I already have my skin moisturized so I'll go straight in into foundation. And today I'm going to use the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation which is one of my favorites. I love how it wears and how it looks on the skin. The coverage is I'd say medium but it's very lightweight. I like that it's quite liquidy. I'm in the shade 40 NN by the way. And to blend it in I'm going to use the Sigma 3D HD blending sponge. And I'll avoid my eye area because I'm going to apply concealer there. To conceal my under eyes I'm going to use the same range, the Stay Naked range by Urban Decay. And this is the concealer of course. I'll also apply it on my eyelid, prime for eyeshadow. And with the same sponge I'm going to blend it. I love the coverage of this concealer. It literally covers anything. To set my under eyes I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder. I'm just using a blending brush. This is a Morphe M330 brush. You know what, I think I'm going to set my eyelid as well. I'm just going to blend those creases first. Take a little bit of powder and set my eyelid. And for the rest of my face I'm going to use a larger brush. I'm going to dust off the excess and stamp the powder all over my face. Next I'm going to bronze the skin a little bit using the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette as usual. The brush that I'm using is a Morphe M405 brush. And I also apply a little bit of that contour under my nose. Not really sculpting the nose, more just shading it underneath. For blush I'm going to do something that I don't do very often. <laughs> I'm going to use a shimmering blush. So I'm going to take my Sigma Chroma Glow palette. So I'm going to take the shade Lush and I'm going to apply it above my contour where I usually apply the blush. The brush that I'm using is again from Sigma. It's the F10 blush brush which I'm absolutely obsessed with. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that blush on the tip of my nose as well. I feel like applying some on my chin as well, I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to apply this blush all over. It has these purple shimmers in it. Like I don't even feel like I need a highlighter right now, but should I use some? Maybe I should use this purple highlighter. I think it would look amazing. Okay, so I'm going to take my Sigma F03 high cheekbone highlighter and I'm going to take this shade this purple shade in the corner. I'm just going to apply a little bit. Oh, this is really purple. Just a tiny amount. Just dusting it all over. Okay, I got too excited and applied some eyeshadow off camera. <laughs> I haven't even noticed. I was like, oh, I wasn't filming, but whatever. I'm going to use and I mean, I used the Mauve's palette by Juvia's Place and I used a Juvia's Place 006 blending brush. I'm going to show you a little bit what I did. 
I took this shade in the corner which is like um, a mauve pink and applied this in my crease like extending it into the other corner and blending and I also took the same shade and applied it on my lower lash line and for my eyelid I'm going to take the Nikki Tutorials palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay because sorry because I want to use the shade Pride I feel like it fits perfectly with this look and apply it all over the eyelid gosh this is so blinding this is a pink and blue dual chrome shade it looks absolutely insane. To highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to use the shade Ambrosia from the Sigma Chroma Glow palette. To draw that beautiful angel wing, I'm going to take some white face paint and I'm going to just use a painting brush, something like this, a small painting brush. First, I'm going to wet my brush and then I'm going to dip it in the paint. I'm going to start from the corner of my eye and I'll do like a wing liner literally a wing liner <laughs> which is going to go up like this and then as it reaches the corner of my eye I'm going to go straight to my temple So when you look ahead, it's kind of like a straight line and when you close your eyes, it kind of bends like this, depending on your eye shape. And I'm just going to drag it all the way to my inner corner. And now I can do the little feathers. Because I have a flat brush, it really helps me draw these little feathers. So I just drag the brush like this. And I'm going to use the same face paint to color my lashes and I'm just going to move the brush along the lashes to color them in white. This is everything for my eyes, I'm going to move on to my lips and first I'm going to line them using the NYX matte lip liner in the shade to lose. This is a beautiful pink nude. And in the center of my lips, I'm going to apply this really gorgeous gloss by Huda. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Snobby. It is a beautiful pink duochrome lip gloss. Mm, it looks so dreamy. And it fits perfectly with this look. I feel like with this look you could have applied some black false lashes, maybe to define the eye a little bit more. But it kind of looks cute like this. It has this angelic vibe. And yeah, that's everything for today's video. I really hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'm going to do a lot more Halloween looks, so stay close. I want to thank you so much for watching, I hope you're having an amazing day and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!